A different sort of unboxing today. Welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and this box on the table arrived from a viewer, a wonderful viewer called Anthea. Thank you so much Anthea. I'm so excited and thrilled to see what's in the parcel. First of all I noticed that the label says Australia and that immediately made me think of And even worse, <laughs> I'm really excited to see what Anthea has sent. I'm also a little bit nervous because Anthea has got a wicked sense of humour, but we'll, <laughs> we'll discover what she has sent together. Let's get this box open. It's a huge box sent all the way from Australia. No spiders so far. <laughs> wow, very well packaged. How you did this with one good working arm, I have no idea. I should maybe explain. Anthea had an accident and damaged one of her arms and couldn't diamond paint for quite a while, bless her. She's on the mend now, I'm pleased to report. So to actually package this up was a fate in itself. Okay. <laughs> the box has no clues, because I'm sure there's not a Dell inside. But you see, that's Anthea's sense of humour as well, because she knows I'm not great with technology. <laughs> Let's keep going, see what's in this box. Hopefully it's not a Bush Tucker trial. <laughs> oh, it might be, you know, I can't get it open. I have no idea how to get into this. <laughs> oh, I think we're nearly there. Right, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, this is exciting. Ooh, it's a bit like a hamper, isn't it? Ooh, how lovely. Tissue. <laughs> Packages. Oh, my goodness. So, we've got packages and packages. Look. Oh, it's so sweet. Okay. Um, not sure which one to do first. What do you think? Maybe we'll do that one first, because it's got a ribbon on it. Can't resist a ribbon. Let's have a look. Beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's called Bohemian Elephant. Oh, my favourite animal elephant, Bohemian Elephant by Diamond Dots. I've never had a kit by Diamond Dots before, so this is going to be so interesting. Nice sturdy box with instructions. Oh, there's a picture. Lovely. So the design size is 41 by 51. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little rose curled up in its trunk. Oh, I've got to see it. Right, let's get it open. Oh, I love elephants and you know that too. That's it. Hooray. Open it out. The diamond painting. Add some sparkle to your world. 
and the diamonds. Okay, I need to see this canvas straight away. So we're going to do the canvas first. Isn't this fabulous? So exciting. is gorgeous so it's not diamond painted in the background on just on the elephant itself so you don't have to worry about placing all of these diamonds let's get all of that information out and let's have a look oh look isn't it fabulous it's got feathers and jewels and roses. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm just going to roll it the other way so that we can try and flatten this one out. Oh, I love the colors too. Look. Oh. And interestingly, on the bottom, it's got Bohemian Elephant, Carly Edwards. The design size, interestingly, it's got the painting size, 41 by 51, and the fabric size, which is unusual. I like that, 49 by 59. So you actually know the measurement for your frame. Let's see if I'm getting any glare. I'm getting a little bit. I'll just move my camera over. There, I think you can see the picture a lot better now. Just look at the elephant. I'm going to pull back the protective cover. And as you can see, this background is not sticky at all because it's the elephant itself that is diamond painted. I love that background, really nice colors in it. It's like a watercolor effect in the background. Oh, just look. Oh, he's very handsome and giving a rose as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Really gorgeous. Right, I'm going to see how many colours and what's included in the kit. Okay, let's start at the top here. We can see just how clear. Aren't those symbols clear? Really lovely. Now, it looks like a round diamond to me. There we go, diamond dots. So with these, you get the DD number, which I believe is different to the DMC number. So if you do do diamond dots, then keep these separately from your DMC numbers. And we've got one, two, three, and then into the symbols. Oh, we've got um, a mixture. So we've got numbers, symbols, letters, all the way down. All the way down, lots and lots of colours here. Wow, they look fabulous colours as well. And then right at the bottom, grid sign. Not quite sure what that one to six is. Is it ABs? Okay, so it looks like there are 54 colours in all and perhaps six of those are ABs at a guess. I think we need to have a look at the rest of the kit. So it looks like we get a very comprehensive instruction sheet in lots of different languages. Wow, lots of different languages and pictures to help. So if you are a beginner and you want to go for a diamond dots kit, then wherever you are from, I don't think that you would struggle with the instructions they've covered a lot in there. Okay, now then let's have a look at the diamonds and the toolkit. Here we go. Start should we start with ooh should we start with the toolkit? I'm ooing because it's a grey tray and that's my first grey tray. Nice look that's a lovely colour. You'll be able to see the diamonds really well in that as well. So a funnel grey tray 
we've got the basic diamond pen, translucent with glitter and a blue squidgy, some pink wax in a branded caddy, and is it two? No, I think it's one very fat slab of pink wax and some baggies. I would say 10 baggies. Pop those back in and we'll have a look at the colour of the diamonds. Here they are. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some specials. Let's come back to those. And there's some ABs. We'll come back to those. So we've got an array of diamonds in this kit. We'll start with number one and very quickly run through all of the colours, starting with purple, brown, red, purple, brown, brown, <laughs> blue, blue and pinks, more pinks, oh, a bright red, greens, absolutely beautiful, greens, a cream, oranges, what a Fabulous array of colours. Browns, blues, mushrooms, more blues and a peach. Oranges, blues, oranges. So it's like, oh, and a very bright turquoise at the end there. Lovely colours. However, we also have some really, really gorgeous packets here. We've got some yellows and blue and browns. And look, it's like a crystal. Oh, wow. Now, it's the white. So that you would lay them, I think, you would lay them gold side down but I might be wrong in that because sometimes these gold diamonds can be used either way up so I'm going to see where they sit on the diamond painting. We've got a beautiful yellow AB, a green AB and a white AB and that's not all. Special shapes, we've got a kite shape in blue, we've got the crystals, the cabochon crystals in bright blue and a marquee in green. It just keeps giving this kit. <laughs> We've got a orange crystal, a teardrop orange crystal and a blue teardrop. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Anthea, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Now I do want to see about these. So let's find out. A45. I want to know if they're going to be the clear crystal or the gold crystal. A45. I think you place them with the clear side down so that you've got the gold showing on the picture. Isn't that fab? So let's look for that symbol. So looking at this crystal here, and it looks like they're outlining the feathers all the way up here. Won't that be gorgeous? And around the jewels, so it'll look like the jewel is bezel set in a metal finish. And then down here, like the sequins on the elephant's headdress. And also across his trunk. So they are going to just be picked out in the painting. So these ABs are all in the headdress. So we're going to have yellows and greens and whites in that, picking out that detail with the gold around. Oh, it's going to be stunning. And I can already see where some of the jewels are, which I didn't spot when I first unboxed it. So that is what this is about on the side here. So looking at this orange crystal as the number one symbol, this is at the end of those tassels that are gold with that finishing off the end of each tassel. And it's also in the start of the feathers as if it's like um, a holder for the feathers to come from. So that's going to sit there along with these orange teardrops either side. 
like a pair of feather earrings for our elephant. Very bohemian. Then we've got the number three blue teardrop, which are here. We go to the number four, which is the blue kite shape. Here, here and here. And then we come to the green teardrop next, which is here and here. Again, surrounded by those gold beads. So as if they've been cabochon set. And then the number six is this blue crystal round, which is picked out in what look like peacock feathers on the headdress. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Anthea, I absolutely love it. And I hope that the viewers like it too. I will try and find out how to link for diamond dots so that you can try and find this for yourself. Right, we've got another parcel to open. Let me package all this back up and I'll be back to you very soon. And there's more. So let's see what's in this package. <laughs> it's a bit like, you know, when you play past the parcel and you open it and there's another parcel inside wrapped. I have a feeling that's what this is like. Oh, look at that paper with unicorns on it and the snowflakes. Oh, is this supposed to be a Christmas gift, Anthea? Because I'm not waiting. <laughs> and then we've got orange with flamingos. Oh, so bright. I'll open this one first. I'm a bit worried about whether Anthea wanted me to keep that for Christmas, but, um, ooh magnetic. Interesting. Aren't I lucky? I have the best viewers on YouTube. I'm absolutely certain. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. They are stunning. Look at those. It does say on the tin, needle minders. For us, cover minders, but look how beautiful. Now, I'm going to show myself up because I don't know all of the birds. Um, I think that's a cockatoo, a white one. Uh, a pink budgie regard. I'm not sure on what the birds are. Does it tell us? No, it doesn't. But they are so gorgeous. Thank you so much. They are so beautiful. Really lovely. Oh, I'm so lucky. And they're from Scattered Seed Company. Very nice. Put those there. What could possibly be in this one? <laughs> Little ostriches. See, I'm getting all the lovely creatures, not the horrible I'm a celebrity cockroaches and spiders and things. <laughs> I'm getting the lovely Australian creatures here. Oh, look. Oh, Anthea, you are a doll. Now, Anthea knows, look at this, all the moons and stars. She knows that I love moons and stars and magical things. But look what she's done here. She sent me a whole selection of my favourite size multiplacer. That is gorgeous. She knows me so well, doesn't she? Love that. I hope that you've kept yourself some. To oh no, you don't multiplace, do you, Anthea? You're a single placer. So I'll have all your spares. <laughs> No fear about that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to open it. I know it's Christmas paper, but oh, it's got a little cat on it too. I'm going to open it. I'm sure she won't mind. Oh, right, unicorns. Unicorns and rainbows. Oh, 
God, isn't she gorgeous? She's got me a tin with magpies on it. Oh. Oh, do you know, isn't that fantastic? I love it. Now, do I open it which way round? Firefly notes. Hmm. Ah, oh, loose tin tops. You may or may not notice that in time your tin lid loosens up. Don't fret, this is an easy fix. Go to the Instagram page and click on the highlight for a quick tutorial. So this kit is from Firefly Notes, or at least the boxes. I'm not sure if the cover minders come with it, but look at that. Oh, aren't they beautiful and cute little Ellie? Oh my goodness, look, 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 look. Holding some gorgeous yellow flowers. Look at that big ear and the little tiny tuft of hair and the little tiny tail. Oh, that is too cute for words. That's adorable. And there's another elephant too. And this one, <laughs> look at his little tail. It looks like, you know when those baby elephants do that funny little run to catch up? That's exactly what he's doing. And his trunk is up, which means good luck. So thank you. Ooh. And we've got a little hedgehog. that back on there. Got a little hedgehog button. It's like um, a fabric button this one. He's really cute too. And then we've got a super glittery a butterfly look with jewels. They are fab. Oh chunky magnets on this one. Nice. Oh they are gorgeous. So lovely. Oh, those elephants are on the tin. Ta-da! Last one. I'm so spoiled. Oh, look. Did that, was that on? Oh, no, it wasn't on the paper. It was shining through the paper, that little cat, with his crown on and a little buzzy bee, a ladybird. Oh, now, where's this? Sarah Miller, London. Ooh. So it's gone all the way from London to Australia and back again. <laughs> and another wrap gift. See what I mean? Pass the parcel where you open one box and there's still something else to unwrap. Oh, oh, it's a Santa Claus for the tree. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that stunning? with those beads there for his moustache and a snowflake charm. That is gorgeous. Anthea, I know that you do stitching. Did you make this? Because you can see he's got all the cross stitch in the background. I think you did. And then all of the beads on top of that. If you made that, Anthea, you are so clever and you've had a poorly arm. So that is amazing, look. All those tiny beads stitched on. I will treasure that and it will come out on my tree every year, I promise you. Oh, and there's lots of glitter in the paper as well. <laughs> Anthea, you know that you are a blessing to me and I thank you so much for your gift. I hope all the viewers enjoyed watching me open my prezzies and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.